Good evening, Mario, Maciel, and Carla. Thank you so much for being on. Good evening, Maciel. How are you today? I'm great. It was okay. Did you have a good day at work? Yes, I work it. And you, teacher, how are you? Ah, it was a very nice day. I think uh, I don't know for, but for some reason, I uh, when it's Wednesday, I feel like Friday. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah, I I don't know why, but I'm usually happy on Wednesdays because I feel like it is Friday. I don't know why. <laughs> Maybe how because was, mm -hmm. how was the 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 traffic while you you are driving? Oh, it was okay. Um, but you know, uh, I have to take the Jerusalem Avenue, um, and there is a new traffic light. And I think like that, Friday, hmm? like Friday. Yes, hmm. because um, I think that they um, they enabled that traffic light. Yesterday, um, ayer creo que habilitaron un semáforo nuevo ahí, so it's getting kind of complicated. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Yes, right there, what is a, um, a small, uh, there is a mall, it's very small, and uh, uh, the only uh, place that I remember that it's there is La Calaca. Down La Mascota, I guess, in the corner of La Mascota. Oh, really? There is a new traffic light. And I think that is making the traffic getting worse because I started on like um, Multiplaza and it was heavy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but yes. mm, it didn't affect me because it's Wednesday. <laughs> and Los Chorros really the same situation. Mm, Los Charles was okay because I left home uh, around 2 p.m. today. Mm -hmm. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. yeah. do, you drive, do you drive for Los Charles every day? Yes. Mm -hmm. oh. Yes, I live in Oulta, so I have to travel by there every day. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank and that's you, the same nightmare for you, right? <laughs> Yeah, it's, it's, it's the same situation for me. Yes, I know. Well, and it's going to get worse <laughs> soon. I don't know. I, I think I'm going to rent an apartment or a house in, in Santa Tecla. <laughs> Maybe. But anyways, and the rest of you guys, how are you doing? I hope that you're doing good. So... And thank you for being on time, Hazel, Francisco, Abigail, Mario. Yeah, you were from the very beginning. Marilyn and Carlos Humberto. So we're going to start. I'm going to share the material uh, from we, where we stopped yesterday. I remember that we were remember discussing about past things that we would like to change, like regrets in the past. Okay. So we will continue discussing uh, that topic so that we can have uh, more practice. And here is, uh, we completed the listening part and we stopped here. So this is going to be individual. We're not gonna get it in the breakout rooms to work on that. So you're gonna have to use your notebook, a pen and write about Something you shouldn't have done, something you should have done, uh, something you shouldn't have said, and somewhere you shouldn't have gone. And finally, someone you should have emailed or, or called last month. Okay, last month, it was April. Yes, April. So let's think about this five things about April, the past month, and write down an example for each situation. 
let's see, for example, number one, something I shouldn't have done in the past month. Um, I shouldn't have spent too much money in jewelry, <laughs> but I did. Okay, so you have to think in, in a situation for number one, two, three, four, and five about the past month. Okay, I hope that it's clear. Is, is the exercise clear? Tenemos que pensar en el mes pasado y escribir acerca de, bueno, tenemos cinco, uh, cinco situaciones de las cuales tenemos que hacer un, una, um, ¿cómo se dice? Una reflexión y decir, eh, por ejemplo, algo que no hubiera hecho. Number one, something you shouldn't have done el mes pasado. Todo es del mes pasado. Something you shouldn't have done. Something you should have done. Something you shouldn't have said. Somewhere you shouldn't have gone. Someone you should have emailed or called. And remember the structure, estamos usando should have y un verbo en pasado participio o shouldn't have y verbo en pasado participio. Esto es individual, cada quien va a trabajar eh, en su cuaderno escribiendo acerca de cada una de esas cinco situaciones. Y luego pues vamos a compartir. You're going to have time for it. Let me know when you are ready to check or to share your sentences.
Okay, finished. Teacher, give me a couple of minutes, please. Sure, that's fine. Thank you. You're welcome.
finish with this one. Finish with this exercise. Yes, teacher. I, I have a first one. Okay, great. Uh, who wants to share? <clears throat> um, I'm going to read them. Okay, read what you have. Uh, about the number one. Hmm? I shouldn't have eaten so much the last month. You gain weight. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Same here. <laughs> <laughs> and the second one, I shouldn't have done diet the last month. I should have done diet the last month. So you shouldn't have lied. Died. Okay. Yeah. Um the next one I shouldn't have said that I can do it. At your work? Yes. Mm. Okay. As an example. Okay. <laughs> That's <laughs> nice. The important thing is to practice. Okay. And the uh, number four, I shouldn't have shouldn't have gone to the USA the last month. Um the last one I should uh, I should have uh call it call it uh her the or I should have called it to my to my mom the last month. Okay, very good. Thank you so much for your sentences, my dear. They were very well done. Anybody else? Abigail? Thank you, teacher. Mm -hmm. And then Mario, thank you. Okay. I shouldn't have left late for work on one day. Okay, so you shouldn't have arrived late on Monday. Okay, that's good. And number two, I should have gone sleep every every day. Oh, okay. Because I live up every every early. All right. So you were tired. Yes, I get up at three thirty a.m. You Every got day. up. You got up at three thirty. Three thirty a.m. Oh, oh, that's yes. too early. Yes, and number three, I shouldn't have said I was going to the movie because I was tired. Because I was tired. Mm -hmm. Number four, I shouldn't have gone to the beach because the sun was very strong and I burned. Oh, you got a sunburn. Yes. That hurts. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I put the cream in the... the, in the okay, so you... you sunscreen. Um, sunscreen, uh-huh. Mm -hmm. In the Did face... It, and it didn't yeah. work. So no funcionó? And didn't work? No. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Mucho tiempo. <laughs> okay. And number five, I should have called my mom early today because she goes to bed very early. 
so you missed the chance today. All right, Abigail, congratulations. Thank you for your uh, participation. Your sentences are excellent. Thank you, Seth, for sharing. Uh, now let's listen to Mario. Okay. Uh, our children have spent my salary last month. Number one. Number two, our children have cleaned the roof before winter. Number three, our children have bolted my maid. <laughs> oh. hey, number four, <laughs> number four, our children have gone to Sunset Park. Number five, I should have congratulated my daughter on her birthday. Oh, oh, wow. Excellent. So your sentences are excellent. Very well done, Maria. So you shouldn't have gone to Sunset Park because it is too crowded. It didn't work. Pardon? And that Sunset Park, it 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 wasn't worthy. No, no valía la pena ir para allá. Uh, all the days, oh, you say that every day. <laughs> Vivo en frente. Oh my God. <clears throat> There's too much people every day there, right? It's too crowded all the time. Hay mucha gente todo el tiempo. Uh-huh. And yes, I, I, I went there, pasé por ahí un día, y esa rueda se ve mucho más grande en los videos. <laughs> Es pequeña. Es el, lente, el lente de las cámaras. Ajá, la hacen ver súper enorme, pero no. No, ok. So, sorry for you that you live in front of that place. Is demasiada gente all the time. <laughs> ok, well, excellent work, Maria. Excellent. Thank you so much for sharing. Thanks. Is there anybody else? Anybody else would like to share? sentences nobody okay so no worries and uh, let's check attendance i'm going to stop sharing for a little while so we can uh check our attendance for today so let's uh if it is possible for you turn on your cameras and say present as soon as you hear your names Abigail Elizabeth Flores. Abigail Elizabeth Flores. Present. Thank you. Present. Okay, thank you so much, Abigail. Abigail Mejia Mendoza. Present. Thank you so much, Abigail. Balmore Alexander Marroquín. Present. Teacher. Okay, thank you so much, Balmore. Carlos Emilio Coto. Carlos Humberto Estrada. Present teacher. Thank you, Carlos. Um, Cecia Noemi. Present teacher. Thank you, Cecia. Eh, Francisco Ernesto. Present me. Thank you. Hazel Vanessa Menjiva. Hazel Panesa Mengiva. Yulisa Yamilet Villalta. Yulisa Yamilet Villalta. Carla Ivania Anaya. Present teacher. Thank you, Carla. Catherine Beatriz. Present teacher. Thank you, Catherine. Luis Javier. Luis Javier Castillo. Magdiel Esaú. Present, Miss. Thank you. Marilyn Alejandra. Present. Thank you, Marilyn. Mario Ernesto Ramirez. Present. Thank you, Mario. 
Melanie Alexandra Martínez. Melanie Alexandra Martínez. Mirna Yanet Ángel. Mirna Yanet Ángel. Santos Cristina. Present. Thank you. Víctor Noé Bonilla. Okay, let me share my screen again so that we can continue with the next part. All right, so let us listen to, okay, thank you, Victor. I see that you wrote in the chat. Thank you so much. Let's see. Um, in this, it's a writing exercise in which we're going to write a letter to an advice columnist about a real or an imaginary problem. Put uh, your letters on the wall and choose one to write a reply to. Uh, we're going to do this in group and you're going to share your situation. And based on, or you can think in one specific situation in the group um, that can be individual, then put it in a, in a, it can be in a Word document and it should look like this one that you have here. Dear Dr. Hilda, I let a friend borrow my laptop and now it's not working very well. I took it to a repair shop and they said it would be very expensive to fix. When I asked my friend to help me pay for the repair, she refused. Now she won't speak to me. What did I do wrong? What should I have done? Thanks for your help. Kevin. Is there any question about this uh, reading? Teacher, sí. No sé si es molesta que lo vuelva a repetir para ver la, para escuchar la pronunciación. No era problema, Cristina. Uh, okay. Dear Dr. Hilda, I let a friend borrow my laptop. And now it's not working very well. I took it to a repair shop. And they said, it would be very expensive to fix. When I asked my friend to help me pay for the repair, she refused. Now she won't even speak to me. What did I do wrong? What should I have done? Thanks for your help, Kevin. Thank you, gracias. You're welcome, Christina. Is there uh, any? Yes. What does it mean? Refuse. Uh, refuse is rehusarse. Oh, okay. Rehusarse o negarse a hacer algo. The uh, problem. Uh, the problem is is Kevin. Uh -huh. he, the person he is writing to the. To Dr. Hilda. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. A very good example for refuse. It can be, I ask my son to wash the dishes after dinner, but he refused. <laughs> so you have to write a similar letter and then give advice. For example, um, you can say what we should have done in this case. Let's analyze this situation. Let's imagine that all of you are Dr. Hilda. What would you say to Kevin? What should he done?
¿Qué hubieran hecho? Tienen que pensar. Ok, este ejercicio podemos eh, dar un par de ejemplos de cómo podríamos contestar si uh, nosotros somos Dr. Hilda. ¿Qué le, ¿Qué le podemos contestar a Kevin? So, for example, if I were Dr. Hilda, I would say, uh, dear Kevin, thanks for your letter. On first place, you shouldn't have borrowed something expensive. Okay? Nunca prestar cosas que son caras. Okay? And that can be, it's, yeah, I, I understand that it is your friend, but... My recommendation is never borrow expensive things. So you shouldn't have borrowed your computer in the first place. You should have, for example, you should have checked the computer in the in the very moment that your friend gave it back to you. So you can check it with a friend, right? Uh, so esas serían las dos recomendaciones que yo le daría. No prestar cosas caras. Y la segunda sería eh, que hubiera chequeado la computadora en el mismo momento que el amigo se la entregó, estándola ahí. Okay. Eh, entonces tienen que hacer algo similar ustedes. Eh, Yes, Valmore said his mistake was to lend his personal belongings. Yes, we are aware that not everyone is careful or um, takes good care of the or other things, right? No todo el mundo cuida bien de las cosas que no son de ellos. So, yes. Um, en primer lugar, aprender a decir no. <laughs> you should have learned to say no at this time, right? So, yes, that can be a good one. Now, in groups, you can think about one situation. Pensar en una situación similar, ¿verdad? Eh, escribir una pequeña carta, así como esta que tiene en el ejemplo, acerca de la situación. Eh, pueden pensar en grupo acerca de algo que les haya pasado o algo imaginario. Eh, eh, por ejemplo, decir, eh, mi amiga me, no sé, eh, me encargó que le cuidara su hamster. Eh, lo dejé en su jaula. Cuando yo regresé, el hamster ya no estaba, había huido. Ahora mi amiga ya no me habla porque, ¿verdad? Le perdí su hamster, no se lo cuide bien. Ok, entonces viene usted y empieza a recomendar también, ya contestando la situación. Eh, no sé, hubieras comprado un hámster parecido y hacer como que nada pasó. <ríe> no debiste haberte hecho cargo de cuidar un animal si no tienes experiencia, etcétera, etcétera, etcétera. Ese es el ejercicio que van a hacer ahorita en grupo. Pensar en una situación puede ser imaginaria o algo que sí les haya pasado. Hacer una pequeña cartita como esta y luego otra cartita contestando y dando las recomendaciones, usando should have, shouldn't have, eh, en lo que hemos estado practicando, would have or wouldn't have, eh, estamos claros y lo vamos a hacer en grupo para que sea más fácil. Are we okay with the instructions? El silencio dice sí. El silencio otorga, dice. I'm okay, teacher. Okay, pues. El que calla otorga. <laughs> okay, let's work on that.
Hello, partners. Tenemos unidos a Catherine. Uh, Catherine ya contestó. Cristina en Abigail. Hello. Hello. Hello, Abigail. Hello. You can do the presentation. Um, I think I don't have. Okay. Si gusta podemos escribir las ideas por separado. Okay. Y vemos al final cómo si se pueden unir. Okay. Okay.
Okay, let us check what you have. Let's see number one. We had Francisco, Hazel, Janet, Catherine, Miguel, Abigail, Santos, and Victor. You can share your work or you can read it. Teacher. Yes. Um este Aquantan, ¿cómo se pronuncia? Aquantan, conocida. Conocida. Mm -hmm. You can say someone I know. Aquantan. No. Say no. someone I know. ¿Cómo se dice? Someone I know. Se lo voy a escribir aquí. Por favor. Ok. Ok, Francisco, so no worry. Um, Vaya, este, Len Moni, tú, oh, pero no, no vi lo que me escribió ahí, pero. Yes, I'm checking here in the messages, so I'm going to write to you, Cristina. Ok. Um, ok. Piensa que, que yo, bueno, lo voy a, se lo voy a decir como yo lo escribí. Si me, si me equivoco, me hace el favor de corregir. El en Money to Ann a Quantines. O sea, le presté dinero a una amiga, a, a una conocida, no una amiga. El en Money to Ann a Quantines. Um, today that I call you to Chan Charles. You, you know, answer my calls. Oh, so you you borrow money to someone you know. It's not your friend, but you know that person. And now you call that person to to get yes. your money back and she doesn't answer the phone. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's the situation. Now, in the group, does anybody wrote the resolutions or the recommendation? Creo que cada quien hizo lo suyo porque nadie, nadie, nadie hablaba ahí. Yes, I see that um, for some reason, I don't know, um, hay muchos que están poniendo como oyente y no se están uniendo a los breakout rooms. Um, Um, algunas veces es que hay estar mal de salud, etcétera, pero es mucha las personas que están solo como oyentes y no se unen a los breakout rooms, no están practicando. Mm. Sí, a mí me pasó, yo estuve malita de salud, pero casi no contesté. Mm. Yes, pero... I know. So, do you have your own recommendations as well? ¿Tiene las sugerencias o solo el caso, Cristina? No, ahí le di la respuesta de una sola vez. Um, que lo que no tengo que hacer es andarme prestando sabiendo que es una persona que no, que no paga. O sea, and today that I call you to charge to know answer my calls. O sea, ahí no me contesta la llamada. O sea, es un ejemplo, ¿verdad? No es que me haya pasado. <risa> <risa> Oh, that. <laughs> okay, thank you so much, Christina. That was I have a, a, I have okay. a similar, similar yes, okay. situation. The same? Mm, yeah, but it's it's an example. <laughs> oh, okay. You can share with us. Maybe you have a, a different suggestion. Yeah, in my case, I... I lent twenty dollars to my cousin because he had an emergency two months ago, and he said that we return them, we returning me one more later. Now, when when he is near to me, he avoid to speak with me, and I think I should. I shouldn't have land. I don't know what's, what is the past participle of land? Land. L-E-N-T. Land. Okay. I think that 
I shouldn't have learned, learned to money. Money, money to him. Yeah, we never expect that to happen from family, yeah. right? <laughs> yeah. That is very common in family. <laughs> Okay. I don't know because uh, the similar situation. <laughs> um, mm. Okay. Okay. Um, yes. The good thing yes, is that. it was not um, too much money, and now you would never uh, lend money again to that person. Yeah, me too. Mm. Okay, thank you so much for sharing, my dear. Uh, anybody else? Teacher. Yo creo que no entendí la actividad porque yo le di contestar a la historia de Kevin. Ah, yeah, you can share porque no no la contestamos. Entonces podemos, ya todos conocemos la historia de Kevin with the computer. Okay. <laughs> so yeah, what are your suggestions? Okay, dear Kevin, Sorry about your habit, but it is very important. First, show that the laptop will well, and you're too angry if it damage pay cost of the pay. Mm, sounds like a very good suggestion. Thank you so much, Abigail. Second, Thank you. A second, mm -hmm. you won't learn your delicate thing in special. If it is a very expensive, take care, Kevin. Mm -hmm. Especially with expensive belongings, you should never borrow them or lend. Either or, nor borrow or lend expensive belongings to avoid that kind of situation. So yes, a very good job, Abigail. Thank you so much for sharing. Uh, do we have anybody else who would like to share? No? No worries. Yes, teacher. Okay, Cecilia. I, I did in a presentation. Oh, excellent. You can go ahead and share. Yes. I don't know if I have a mistake. I don't know. But this is my um, my case. Mm -hmm. Dear Dr. Hilda, last week my friend invited me to dinner. She called me and I accepted. The dinner was two days ago, but I had a meeting in my job and my cell phone was off. My friend tried to call me for the fourth time and she couldn't communicate with me. Uh -huh. Yeah, you're, you're doing good, Cynthia. You can continue. Se le ha venido la señal. Yo pienso que sí. Pero se sigue viendo su pantalla, ¿verdad? Weird. Se sí, ya. Sí. Okay, se le cayó el inter. I'm sorry. And she was doing good. Vamos a esperar que vuelva. In the meantime, is there anybody else who would like to share experience? No? Nos hemos quedado con la intriga de la historia de Cecilia. Yeah. <laughs> I, I want to know if, if it was pasa. real or imaginary because if it was real, oh my God. <laughs> To do in that case. Mm. Okay, so um, in the meantime, let's continue here. 
you have this and uh, I think this is kind of, we are almost done with this topic. We have been practicing because it's kind of uh, very useful. Es un tema muy, muy eh, útil para el día a día, ¿verdad? Entonces, se lo hemos dado um, bastante práctica y vamos a seguir con este. Es un poco más fácil que lo que hicimos anteriormente. Uh, it says the advice circle. Okay, the advice circle. Mm, let's skip this article. It's, uh, they are three posts. So we have the three posts on the message board and we have three writers with three different problems. We have Cecia back again. Uh, your internet kick you off, right? Sí, teacher, so me. Well, internet. Okay, Susie, no worry. I'm going to stop sharing. Uh, nos quedamos aquí intrigados, pero uh, qué bueno que volvió rápido. Puedes seguir. Sí. Aquí está. El... <laughs> no sé ni a dónde me quedé. En el, um, bueno, yo escuché hasta el cell phone was off. Uh, cell phone was up. My friend tried call me for four times and she couldn't communicate with me. In that moment, I forgot our dinner. Yesterday, I remember it, but now it was late because she won't even speak to me. What should I have done? Thank you for your help, Sofia. Ok, excelente, Cecilia. Ahí solo en la pregunta, todo está excelente. Solo en la pregunta, what should I? What should I have done? I. Ajá, borrar el primer I que tiene ahí. Es un I. What should I have done? And that's excellent. Okay, let's, let's check the advice. You should have called her early and explained it about the meeting. Mm -hmm. And that would have prevent all those things to happen. Uh -huh. She should have called her before the meeting to let her know. Okay, so yeah, it was excellent. Yeah. Ya nos quitó la curiosidad. Ahora solo quiero saber, ¿fue cierto? ¿Was it real? No, it's an example. <laughs> okay. Excellent job, Cecilia. Congratulations. You did it excellent. Thank you, teacher. Okay. I was sharing this. Um, we have uh, three situations. Maybe we will find vocabulary here. And we continue practicing that that topic that is very useful in our daily life, right? And uh, día a día estamos eh, hablando sobre cosas que hubiéramos hecho, que no hubiéramos hecho. So yes, it is very useful. Uh, we have three different posts. Okay, we have um, color green is one post. And then in light blue and purple, it's uh, three different situations. Um, and then we have uh, two um, replies like this. Uh, the first one is the situation, someone, right? And then uh, other users' comments, okay? So in the first one, it's this, it, the name of the user is Terry, and she said, Someone told me that my brother's girlfriend was dating another guy. I told my brother and he then decided to confront her with the story. They had an argument and although she denied the rumor, they broke up. Now, it turns out that the, that the rumor wasn't true 
and my brother isn't speaking to me. Now, who wants to continue reading for Pixie? The responses? Who wants to read Pixie's response? Teacher. Okay, thank you, Cecilia. Pixie, you really learned a lesson, didn't you? You shouldn't have listened to gossip. Now you have to repair the damage. Apologize and hope that he will forgive and forget. Excellent. Really good advice. Uh, let's read Lola's response. A volunteer to read Lola's response. Lola. Lola, teacher. Okay, Cristina. Don't, don't blame yourself. You're sincerely try your best. Your, your best. Your best. Your best. But frankly, I will. I will not. I wouldn't have. I, would, I wouldn't have acted so quickly or quickly. 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 I would have waited to see what happened. Try. Try. Tell him, try. Try talking. Try talking to him. Try talking to him. And good luck. Good luck. Good okay. luck. Okay. Thank you. Thank you so much. Now, um, let's see the third situation. My son is 23 and still lives at home. He finishes college last year, but I really don't think he's trying to get a job. Meanwhile, I've been cooking his meal and doing his laundry. Who wants to read two bad response? Yo, teacher. Thank you, Mario. Uh, to bad. Mm -hmm. You were making it too easy for him to stay home. Be firm and tell him he has to find a job and get his own place. He's old enough to take care Settle. Okay, very good. Thank you so much, Mario. Uh, who wants to read Poodle's response? Poodle, yo voy a hacer Poodle. Okay, Palmore. Uh, you are his mother and the family. His family, it's hard to find a job if you have no experience. And don't you have to cook for yourself? yourself don't complain about your song mm -hmm. thank you so much and the third situation escuché que alguien dijo me pero ya no logré ver el nombre robin's situation who wants to read robin's situation francisco thank you i saw my friends brother at the beach with some of the of his friend is wasn't a holiday so i think he was skipping school should it i told my friend should i tell my friend <laughs> okay uh-huh thank you so much francisco who wants to read the sev's response Zev's response Thank you. I would suggest you keep your mouth shut. Let them work in of for themselves. If you say something, you could damage your friendship with both or of them. Well, thank you so much, Abigail. Who wants to read Speedy's response? What are you waiting for? 
Your teacher. Okay, Cristina. What are you waiting for? You should tell you should tell your friend your friend right now and tell her her or her teacher. Her. Her mom. To be only way to solve um, solve your dealing. dealing. Solve. La e no la pronunciamos. Solve. Solve your dilemma is to be um, one. ¿Cómo se pronuncia el 100? 100%. 100% honest. Ajá. Uh -huh. Excellent. Thank you so much, Cristina. Thank you. Um, questions? No questions? Yes, teacher. What's mm -hmm. the meaning meanwhile? Mientras tanto. And what is the correct pronunciation of in Lola? Don't blame yourself. You don't blame yourself. You no. sincerely. It's sincerely? Sincerely. Thank uh -huh. you. Sincerely. Okay, you're welcome. Anybody else? Any other question? French, French, French teacher, así se pronuncia, French. En set, en set, en la segunda línea, French. Friendship, friendship. Friendship, ok. Teacher, mm -hmm. how do you say Themselves. 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 Uh -huh. Themselves. Ellos mismos. O por sí mismos. En este es. Uh -huh. Deja las cosas uh, que funcionen por sí solas. Por sí solas. Perdón. Uh -huh. Men will teacher en Linda. Men will. While. Okay. Men will. Meanwhile. Meanwhile. Ok. Uh -huh. Any other question? No more questions? Okay. Okay. About this article, we have a couple of exercises, and we can make them here in the make exception. So you have this in your presentation that I sent, in case that you need to go back to the reading and see exercise A. Read the message board and match the name. And the advice. So remember the names of the user, Pixie, Lola, Tubal, Poodle, Zeb, and Speedy. So who said be honest? Who said say nothing? Who said be firm? Who of them said apologize? Who of them said talk to him or don't complain? We have to match them with the name of the user. So for example, about Pixie, so we can hear Pixie said, you really learned a lesson, didn't you? You shouldn't have listened to gossip. Now you have to repair the damage, apologize and hope that he will forgive and forget. Now, Pixie, what is the name of the advice for Pixie? Apologize. 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 Mm -hmm. Excellent, Apologize. Christina. Excellent. Okay. So number one, it's letter D. 
apologize, explique. Um, yes, explique. Uh, find the words in italics below on the message board and then match each word to this meaning. Uh, en este es eh, match, hacer matching de la palabra con el significado. Entonces podemos trabajar ambos. Eh, lo vamos a hacer en la sección principal porque pues ahorita por alguna razón hay muchos oyentes y no se unen a los breakout rooms. So it's no nonsense. Pero ustedes tienen la presentación. Eh, tienen, el, eh, tienen su PowerPoint si lo quieren trabajar desde ahí individualmente y luego compartimos en la sección principal. O pueden tomar notas y luego anotar en su cuaderno las respuestas y luego chequeamos. Les voy a dar tiempo.
Yes. Yes. We work in letter A and letter B only. Yes, letter A and B. Okay. Okay. Finish. Okay. Would you like to share? Um. Or did you just take notes? So we said that for Pixie and letter T. Uh, letter. Uh huh. Pixie is letter D. D. Now, uh huh. Pixie says letter D. Apologize. What about Lola? Letter E. That's correct. Letter E. Talk it's to talk to him. Yes. Mm -hmm. To ban letter C, the firm. Excellent. That is correct. Letter C, the firm. Number, mm -hmm. Probably. Number four. Uh, letter F, don't complain. Excellent. It's correct. Number five. Letter B, say no, nothing. Yeah, that's correct. Say nothing. Number six, letter A, be honest. Be honest. Excellent. Thank you so much for sharing. Uh, someone else has finished number, letter B, sorry. Yes. Okay. Okay. In number one, come from with letter D. A difficult problem. Confront? Layer B. Confront layer B. Is used in a strong, direct way. Yes, that is correct. Confront, discuss in a strong, direct way. Excellent. Number two. Layer A. Make, make a fresh start. Mm -hmm. Forgive and forget, make a fresh start. Excellent. Number three. Letter B. A strong and determined. Mm -hmm. And four. <laughs> and number four. Letter C. A difficult problem. A difficult problem. Excellent. You did a very nice job with that one and all the answers were correct. So that's very, very good. Now, um, let's continue. But before that, we're going to check attendance for the second time tonight. So let's listen and say present when you hear your names. Abigail Elizabeth. Present teacher. Thank you. Abigail Mejia. Present. Thank you. Balmore Alexander. Present, teacher. Thank you. Carlos Emilio Cotto. Present, teacher. Thank you. Carlos Humberto Estrada. Present, teacher. Thank you. Luciano Noemi Ramos. Present, teacher. Thank you. Francisco Ernesto Acuña. Present, teacher. Thank you. Hazel Vanessa Menjivar. Present, teacher. Thank you. Julissa Yamilet Pialta. Julissa Yamilet Pialta. Carla Ivania. Present, teacher. Thank you. Catherine Beatriz. Catherine Beatriz. Parece conectada, pero no ha respondido en ninguna de las dos. Luis Javier Castillo. Luis Javier no se conectó ahora entonces. Matiel Esaú. Present teacher. Thank you. 
My name is Alejandra. Present. Thank you. Mario Ernesto. Present. Thank you. Melanie Alexandra. Melanie Alexandra. It's not here. Mirna Yanet. Mirna Yanet. Igual aparece conectada, pero no responde. Eh, Santos, Cristina. Present, teacher. Thank you. Um, Víctor Noé. Okay, so for today, one on one is for Marilyn Alejandra. Si tiene alguna pregunta o alguna duda que aclarar, puede quedarse unos minutitos después de la clase. If not, you are free to go. Now let's continue with our content for today. I'm going to continue sharing my screen. And uh, okay, we solve a couple of uh, this exercise about the reading. And we have this one. Let me make this bigger for you. Okay, uh, this exercise is on page 30 of your material. And we have five situations. And the exercise instruction is read the following situations and discuss with a partner about the actions a manager could have done to improve or to solve them. Uh, would someone like to read the situations? Anybody? Okay, I'll start reading. Number one, money has disappeared from the register machine, but I can't tell who's taking it. Number two, someone broke three bottles of the best wine in the restaurant, but none of the servers has reported the issue. Number three, my customers complain that my servers take too long to deliver the food. Number four, the kitchen manager has been taking stuff from the storage room. Number five, the schedule is a mess and it's very difficult for staff to understand it. Do you have any question about the situations? What does it mean, mess? Mess is a disorder or a disaster. Okay. Mm -hmm. Any other question? This pared, teacher. I'm sorry? This pared. And I wanna Money. Disappear. Disappear. Money uh -huh. has disappeared. Desaparecido. Disappeared. Desaparecido. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you. You're welcome. Any other question? Teacher, is tooth is cocina. Um, it's tooth number four. Ah, they, the kitchen manager has been taking stuff stuff. from the storage room. Stuff se refiere a cosas. Cosas. Stuff. Mm -hmm. cosas. Ahí está en singular, pero pues debería de ser como plural, cosas, tops, cosas. El kitchen manager ha estado tomando cosas de la bodega. En, en number five, what the meaning mess? Mess es yeah. desorden, un okay. desorden, un desastre. Okay. Mm -hmm. Any other question? Mm 
No question, teacher. Ok. So, ideas. Tenemos que es, dar ideas para solventar o evitar los problemas que se nos han presentado en este ejercicio. Este ejercicio es el 30 en su material y pueden dar una o dos sugerencias eh, para cada uno. Ya recuerden que pueden ser afirmativas o negativas con los auxiliares. Eh, por ejemplo, en el uno decimos money has disappeared from the register machine, but I can't tell who's taking it. You should write a letter and leave it in the office manager when someone is, when anybody is watching you. <laughs> Podría ser, si no quiere decirlo o que sepan que él lo dijo, quien está tomando el dinero. Podría o debería escribir una carta y dejarla en secreto. Por ahí. Mm -hmm. Oh, teacher, you discount all employees. Ah, so the manager should have discount the money from the employees salary. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. oh, That's a good one. The cameras. <laughs> yeah. They, uh, the manager should have discount uh, from the employee's salary. That's a good option. That's a good suggestion. I'm going to give you some time for you to write your suggestion. Remember, you should have or would have y el verbo en pasado participio para las sugerencias para resolver esos problemas. Puede ser una o dos sugerencias por cada uno y luego vamos a compartir.
teacher. How do you say descontado o descontar en pasado? Discounted. Thank you.
finished. Do we have any suggestion for number one? Money has disappeared from the register machine, but I can't tell who's taken it. Could be you should have spoken with the with this person about it. Mm, with the person directly. Okay. Yeah. So. Or you would have written letter for your manager explaining explaining that situation. Mm -hmm. Okay, sounds like a very good option. Excellent, my dear. Thank you so much for sharing. Um, thank you. Number two, someone broke three bottles of the best wine in the restaurant, but no one of the service has reported the issue. Mm -hmm. A number one, I think the manager should have checked the security cameras. That's a good option. And do you have anything different for the number two, Abigail? Uh, in number two, the manager should have called a meeting and asked for explanation. <laughs> okay. Any other idea for number two? In that one, I think that they can also check the cameras, like the one that you said for number one, I mean, that could be. That could apply for number two as well, I think. Um, volunteer for number three. My customer complained that my server stayed too long to deliver the food. He sold. Uh, he sold her apology, apologies, and apologies. he offered apologies, and he offered a pretext. Sounds really, really attractive. <laughs> Number four, the kitchen manager has been taking stuff from the storage room. He should have asked by taking to the storage room and discount by part. Oh, like a paying plan. Yes, that sounds like really interesting suggestion. And finally, number five, the schedule is a mess and it is very difficult for its staff to understand it. He should have explained the schedule and correct. That sounds really good. Now, I'm going to stop here. It is time to go. Thank you so much for joining in today's section. Hope to see you tomorrow. Good night. Good night. Thank you, teacher. Good night. Good night, Until teacher. Later, teacher. Good night. See you tomorrow. See you.